Good day to you, my dear students. In this lesson, you will know about the use of other ingredients present in cleaning agents. Here are the learning objectives of today's lesson. First, identify the active ingredients or ingredient of cleaning products used at home. Second, give the use or functions of the other ingredients in cleaning agents. And lastly, appreciate the importance of knowing the ingredients of cleaning products for safety measures. Before we proceed to our lesson proper, I'll give you this activity. It's entitled, Watch Me Now. So the instruction is, match the pictures of the common household cleaning products at home to their description. So let's start with the first picture. Can you identify what cleaning product is being shown in the picture? Correct, it is disinfectant. Let's proceed to the second picture. Can you identify what household cleaning product is being shown in the picture? Okay, so it is a surface cleaner. So how about this picture? Can you identify what cleaning product is this? So you got it right. It's a bleach. So let's move on to the next picture. So we have there a product, a brand of a product, which is tough. So can you guess what is this cleaning product? Okay, correct. So that is a toilet bowl cleaner. And for the last picture. So can you identify again what is this cleaning product? Correct, it's a detergent. Good job, students. I think you are all ready for your next activity, which is entitled, Write It Down. So this time, I request you to prepare for a piece of paper wherein you are going to write your answer. So, the instruction for this activity is you're going to write the name of the product you use to clean the specific area of your home. A table will be provided for you later on. You may copy also the table. Also, you're going to list as many products as you know. Guide questions will follow afterwards. So this is what I mean of the table. You may copy that table. I'll give you um, five minutes to write down your answer under each column. Under column, um, bathroom, living room, bedroom, and lastly, column under kitchen. Good job, students! So let's proceed to the guide questions. Here are the guide questions. First, what are the uses and benefits of using cleaning products at home? Second, how do we use each cleaning product available at home? Third, can we use one cleaning product as a substitute to other cleaning products in different in cleaning different areas of our homes? Why and why not? And lastly, what makes these products become effective in cleaning areas of your home? Very good students, very well said. 
Now let's move on to your next activity. So this time, you will be filling in the information in the table using the activity sheet. Okay, so that activity sheet is called as your fact sheet. So under the last column on mode of action of active ingredient, you are allowed to do research on your smartphones. During the activity, um, please be reminded to observe the products with caution, particularly in smelling and touching, as they may be harmful to you upon contact. So I will be providing the websites wherein you can use for your research. Okay, so this is an example of a fact sheet or an activity sheet wherein you will be filling in the information all about the product such as the disinfectant, bleach, powder detergent, and toilet bowl cleaner. So these products are commonly found in your homes. So try to look at the following information such as its product description, active or major ingredient, guidelines in using the product, precautions in using the product, their texture, odor, color of the product, and uh, try to please observe with caution in doing or in testing or in observing or in filling no? those products. And lastly, their mode of action of active ingredient. So this information can be seen uh, in the product label of uh, each um, cleaning agents. You may also, as uh, I have mentioned, you may also uh, try you know, to look you know, for some information or sources in the internet which um, I will be uh, giving you. So here are the internet sources or the websites where you can visit. So we have there chemicals of concern, the for bleach, uh, products database, soaps and detergents, products and ingredients, soaps and detergents, household chemicals chart, what's in my house, and uh, another link for some sources good job students i think you are all excited to learn more about the use of other ingredients as cleaning agents um, everywhere and almost all the time we use cleaning agents right so this would include powder detergents bleaching agents solvent cleaners acid cleaners etc well in fact you already conducted an activity on this, right? So are you wondering why detergent and bleach vary in scent? Do you know why they last longer unlike the food you eat? Are you aware of the reason why cleaning agents have bubbles? Were you able to check at the labels and identify the ingredients of cleaning agents? So when we talk about cleaning agent, Cleaning agent considered as having additive ingredients that have some functions in product, whether it is an, an active or an inactive ingredient. So here are some functions of additive ingredients. So generally, all cleaning agents have the following ingredients in them. So we have uh, solvents, fragrance enhancers, masking agents, builders, preservatives, antimicrobial agents, and of course, bubble enhancers. So we'll be discussing each of this function of uh, additive ingredients. So let's begin with the first ingredient. So we have the solvents. So generally, solvents are used to increase the quantity of the cleaning agent. It is also used to dilute the cleaning agent present in greater amount. 
So for instance, we have ethanol. So ethanol could have 40% solution, while bleach can be present in as low as 5% solution in that cleaning product. Secondly, we have fragrance enhancers which are added to products to remove unwanted odor like bathroom cleaners, your toilet bowl cleaner, and so on. So actually, there are a lot, you know, thousands of scents available, but these are the most popular scents used in cleaning and household products. These are Paris Rain, Sea Blossom, Fresh Breeze, Citrus Nectar, and so on and so forth. Next on the list, we have masking agents. Masking agents are used to remove fragrance. Um, these are for sensitive users who are prone to allergic reactions. Scents are being masked but not totally removed. So the molecule of fragrance is still in the product. So toxins may still be there but uh, they are just being masked. Okay. So, on the table, we have the different masking agent and the element present on it. So, we have ammonium fluoride, potassium cyanide, acetyl acetone, and so on and so forth. Next is we have builders. Builders are present, of course, in detergent or in detergent powder we use at home. So, the purpose of builders is to prevent other contaminants from reacting with the active ingredient in the detergent. So these ingredients are mineral salts that increase the cleaning power by of course raising the alkalinity or the pH level of a product. So examples of uh, builders are we have on the picture baking soda or our sodium bicarbonate, the um, sodium metasilicate and of course the sodium hydroxide. Added on the list of um, active ingredients, we have the preservatives. So the preservatives keep the active ingredient functional and to maintain the pH balance. Cleaning agents must have preservatives in order to prolong the life of a product. And this may come in the form of salts and organic reagents. So examples of these uh, preservatives are of course the um, compound that is added like bronopol, the formaldehyde, and of course the isothiazolones. Added on the list of active products is we have the antimicrobial reagents. So we all know that microbes cause infection or degradation also grow in cleaning products. So for that reason, cleaning agents must also have antimicrobial ingredients. So this would help in preserving the appearance of a product. And lastly, we have bubble enhancers. Enhancing the covered area of the surfactant is the effect of the addition of bubble enhancers. The formation of foam or the bubbles facilitates the surfactant by adding in the accumulation of unwanted particles. An example of uh, bubble enhancers added to the cleaning agent is the CD amide as shown in the picture below. So this um, CD amide helps increase the amount of foam and the size of the bubbles. Okay, so those are the different active ingredients added to our household cleaning agents we use at home. So this time, you will be watching a two short video about handling of cleaning chemicals use of cleaning agents to fight uh, COVID-19 virus and another is from the use of cleaning agents to help fight COVID-19 virus. Try to watch, learn from the video and after which you will be instructed to create your own guidelines in choosing a safer, healthier, and environmentally friendlier cleaning product. So you may design your own cleaning product and you are going to describe this. 
For your evaluation, you're going to explore homemade alternative products for the personal hygiene and their household cleaning use. Out of this, you're going to make a poster, a flyer, brochure, or demonstrate the process through a video. Just only choose one task on products such as fuels, household, or personal care products indicating its uses, properties, mode of action, and precautions. In doing the task, the performance rubric will serve as your guide. So this is your performance task rubric with corresponding criteria and the points to be um, earned for the output you submitted. Just read and uh, be guided of uh, that performance task rubric.